all the stuff we wanted to write about, which was the sort of the clash of the classes and getting stuck and everything in a small, confined space, uh, were funny. But it had to be very harsh at the end. Why? We felt it was OK on the condition that we ended the series the way we ended it. Why? Being extremely respectful and aware of the, the unimaginable human tragedy that the First World War was. Why? Up and both my grand father served in it. Okay, I love you, bye-bye. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Classic Corner. So, today we're going to talk about Blackadder Goes Forth, which is the finale of the series of the Blackadder series, you know. And Blackadder Goes Forth is... It was my second favourite season originally when I first yes. saw it. Yeah. Until I saw the third, and then the first. And then the fourth, and the... Th yeah. I mean, quickly tell me about the whole thing, because you said before me about you had the consistency of the tone for it. Well, the tone basically is... Well, if you watch a documentary called Black Out of the Whole Rotten Saga, they cover how... When they came up with the fourth season, they were going to do everything, like, make fun of it, the clash of the classes, all the clichés of World War One. Yes. But... But... On the condition that they had to have a highly emotional ending. Dramatic ending of emotional to good Because it was paying respect to World War One veterans. And what do you think of that? Compromise is the word. Okay, well, let's, let's... Before we get to that question, we'll get on to what we think, generally think about the episode, okay? So, what do you think of the characters? Uh, Blackhead the Good is a very self-aware straight man, as he always is. Making fun of... Again, making fun is the important thing to remember here. Yeah. Making fun of the period and all the problems Yes, with I mean, it. obviously, he was the, generally the, the deadpan person. He's the guy who's stuck in this situation. This time, he plays as an officer stuck in a situation you don't want to be in. And find a way to get out of the situation. You know, the anyway, you can like trying to become a chef, shooting down a carrier pigeon, trying to join an acting career for some reason. Yes, and uh, you have Baldrick, who's still basically Baldrick, which is slightly a bit more dirtier than looking. But then he's although in this, in this one, there's a real obsession that he's representing common man because he's a Tommy. Yeah, whatever that can seem. But I don't know, he seems to be all well. And I also like the other assistant, which is again, George. like with George, or played by Chicky Boy, with the quirkiest of all quirkiest of his <laughs> tape here. And the characters I do like is um, also is got Darling, which is Nick. Where's his name? Darling? Captain Darling. Captain Darling, which is the antagonist. You can argue the antagonist of the storyline. Closest you is it? And you got Stephen Fry as a general, which is just talking about like, don't be revolting, darling. Do I wouldn't look at you if you were covering gel, honey. You know it was basically. What does, what does Stephen Fry do with that accent? Is that an accent or is that just him acting? Like basically, a he was making the makeup of the Germans and saying that hey, the filthy Germans and you wouldn't look at them if they were covering honey. Do you have any episode you like? Uh, favourite episode would have to be the episode where they become pilots. Pilots, you say? Lord Flashheart appears yet again. Lord, played, Lord Flashheart, I should say, yes. Played by Rick Mail, yes, of course. Yes, of course, Rick Mail, yes. He does look very smart in this film, doesn't he? He does seriously. It's yeah. good It's good when we go from reviewing something like Bottom, when he's meant to be very silly and downbeat, to in this show appearing once in a while as a suave, charismatic... And generally all action man, basically. The kind of adventurous type person you would but be with him. You know. The extra bonus of this episode is the person who plays the, the Red Baron. <laughs> oh, I wonder who's this person being? Uh, the Red Baron. Oh, I wonder. I don't is know. it by chance some guy named Ed? I, I don't know. He looks, he's very familiar. I, can't I don't know. He looks very similar. Let me just somehow edit it like uh, some fader where it reminds me of something. Yeah, I sure have no idea who this guy is. But yeah, there are elements about it that does seem very appealing to us. I mean, also it's a very too, it's very funny to see that kind of done. Mine is kind of a bit of the pigeon one, because it shows off generally the situation. It also shows that, again, the whole deal, dramatic series of not shooting pigeons, otherwise death. Which yes. is ironically, because you're basically sent in an environment where you like, get shot in. Which is, again, ironically, you get executed by shots. And so it's, basically, basically, you're saying it's really funny, absurd to see in this big, tragic war, people are fighting over a pigeon. Yes, and the, also the, 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 uh, the uh, gunmen, you know, the execution gunmen, are very the jolly, friendly, you know. These are the friendliest executioners I've ever seen. 
almost makes you want to feel shot, but not quite. Yes, yes, I like, I like some of that. And the honest way, the way it's actually funny and then trying to make fun of it is actually smart and clever. It, See, you that, know enough what's going on. And that's you, the reason there's a bitter pill this season, because if you watch a majority of the episodes, which it's are, funny. Yeah. Which, again, leads on to our ending, the finale of the episode. The, the main problem we have with this season. Now, the thing is, the problem is we were very uh, cautious about talking because this is joint based on World 1 and we were worried that our statements would be um, questionable a lot of times. We're concerned that what we say would not be true and we will end up saying, you know, the war's not bad. But, of course but, it is. But it at the end of the day, casualties. We'll, let's just say, to, fu- to fuck with it, let's just talk about what, what's wrong. Well, let's just say, and I'll, I'll try to be clear about it as possible. Okay, here's the thing. I find this ending for me seems very a bit of a tone shift from the art the uh, series. Like they want to be more dramatic, more like traditional BAFTA winner, if you will. And War One. And I'm just concerned that the biggest concern of me, this is the most common thing to do in War One. You do this in nearly every scenario in film, TV, meet radio and all sorts on War One. Why is War One it gets a free pass to everything to these situations? Well, well, because be- it was such a tragic time, of course. No, it's because it's a very recent memory. Because I bet you, if they did the same thing in, say, uh, Black Hatter Seconds, and we made fun of the Queen Elizabeth, and they did the same like a child, and they did the same like Queen Elizabeth the Second, I think they'll take it they, inappropriate. They'll say, like, oh, well, you should not do that. I mean, they're willing to make Queen Elizabeth the First look like a five-year-old child. They're willing to make fun of the medieval war. They're willing they're to like it's a part of a fun game thing, which they were like that term because it's com- commonly like, because remember it, war was that like, common in that time period. Yeah. So obviously, you like they have kings and queens get killed off any time, any mm-hmm. moments. So you think, okay, that seems more like a, uh, a tragic part of history, mm-hmm. and yet they were when gun like Brian Blasson on that one for crying loud, Brian Blasson, and yet for some reason this is the period that no, no, no. We must be straight and serious. We, we, will, we will make fun of the period throughout the season, but it will have to end in that bath. And the concern to me about this is, why do you need to make this straight about this? Why this period? And yet, they, because they simply don't have relatives and connections to it. It's because it's a recent that, memory. This, it also boils on, this is the thing what Blackadder, I thought of it does. Wasn't the whole point of Blackadder making fun of history? Well, we did that throughout the whole season. But, but then, why World War One? Why you have to be this straight tone to it? What's the purpose? Well, that's the thing. The problem with me is it's ser- it's funny throughout the season, but the very end is when they suddenly decide. Well, 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 we want to be dramatic about it. We want to be straight. But you always, but you're good at making fun of this. You point out already. Like I know enough of these sort of history that yes, how crazy it is. It is. You go, that's the point. You make fun of how bad it is. Yet when it comes to this, like no, no, no nonsense, no nonsense. Oh my gosh, it's just makes such a kind of, I get it, I get it. War One is a very bad event. It, it, casualties, it's tremendously expensive. It's tremendously uh, casualties and fatalities a lot of people, and it affects a lot of nations and all. It also alters a lot of nations' changes in the time period as well. I'm just thinking, like, if you can't make fun of that, why are you set up in World War One in the first place, lads? Richard, I understand that you want me to say story, a respectful story. But my gosh, man, if you got to set World 1 and make a sitcom on World 1, freaking make fun of it. If you, all the way. You know, here's Flocko right. is saying, like, if you got to make philosophy of something, if you got to make fun of it, go for it. Like, we're saying, well, looking... Well, my philosophy is, and it's a very different kind of comedy to this, obviously, it's animated, but yes. South Park. In this season, the writers kind of have this philosophy of, if they're going to make fun of something, they're going to do it, and to hell with the reaction. Yes. Sometimes they get caught and sometimes they, they may alter around. Even if they may think it's inappropriate, maybe the Derry said a bit sick and all. Look, if you're going to make fun of it, make fun of it. People are smart enough to know how bad it is. You don't need to pan- tell Let, them. Let's face it, Look, for all of my complaining in this season, there are intelligent people behind the season. They know how to get around problems if they had to. Yes, and yet for something to go straight, no, we can't be used to it's no noise. It's too much. It's too real. I hate. Look, okay. We've said it before, right? The ending, they have to end it in a very harsh way. There's a better Why? way. Why? There's a better way to end it. Well, imagine this. They make a joke in the actual documentary saying, oh, oh, how funny it was that, oh, yeah, they said the war was over when it was actually a year before it really ended. Why not to make the actual joke that as they're about to go over the top, the yeah. war's over? Yeah. It ends just as they're about to climb. Look at that. That'd be anticlimactic. That's the point, right? It's yeah. a joke. The, building anxi- the whole episode, the building anxiety to, oh, it's over. But. In all, in all, 
We do technically like the ending, you know, the music the, and the, the piano. The music, the piano music reminds it me of... It is good. Yes, the, it is quite compelling. And yeah. it, it works mostly because it's the end of the TV season in general. And it's the finale of the franchise, yes. It works that, but the problem was that wasn't supposed to be the real ending. That wasn't was, it not supposed to be? They had ideas for other seasons, yeah. it's just things got in the way. And, and then we understand that World War One is a period that is very concerning and it is a bad scenario event. I understand that. However, if you're going to make fun of it, again, like before, you're going to make fun of it. Otherwise, Go, go just, all the way. Don't pull out last minute. Just don't, please. Don't go the whole, we're going to be serious about it. No, if you, go, if you make a joke about it, if there's a clown in the battlefield, put the clown in the battlefield, okay? It's That doesn't make any sense. Exactly, it doesn't make sense. The point is, if you're going to make something humorous or if you're going to make... Look, you're smart enough already to know this. I know enough, there's a scene in the episode where these trying to skate up, escape the event is enough to know that it's a bad situation. You don't need to go full detail about how bad and how... The point is, in general, I'm trying to say simply, is that the experience of the trying the ending seems like it, we want to end it in a very dramatic way. But for me, they do this in every time it comes to War 1. War 1 is this crush of drama. It is a sense of tragedy every time. And when Stakada did it, especially when he did this before, the other history plays that it's just bad, and yet they did the same dramatic moment. So, at the end of the day, what would you say about this season? Honestly, it is a finale to the series. Okay, to wrap up what I would say, it is a finale to the series, and there are elements about it that is good. Good. That I would say, in a nutshell, it has a very bittersweet experience. Because that's the thing, it has everything that makes it feel like Blackadder. It's just compromise would be the word I have. Yes. They compromised in the end to make it fit people's standards. And anything we say about anything you want to say about this whole wrap this in a nutshell about this? It's still one of my don't get me wrong, it's still one of my favourite comedy yeah. shows. I do like the elements when they try with gymnastic. I just think it's effective where you be subtle or at least generally characters just reacting in the environment, not just going, you know, full on. The thing is I don't watch it for the ending, I just watch it for the most of the other yes, episodes. Obviously, yeah. And there are others about that, and they did make back and forth later on, so it just it just seems like, you know... At the end of the day, I bring it up to this moral. Being funny is more important than being tragic, and every great tragedy can create a great comedy. Yes, absolutely. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to apply. If you have information, if do you, so. If you disagree with our opinion, please comment in the comment section below. As much as you like. Anything you want to say, you know. Anyway, thank you for watching. You take care.